Hey everybody, we have light. We're good to go, I think. Yep. <laughs> How you doing, guys? I'm doing great. I finally found some time to finish up some of my snaps that I've had actually glued for about a month or two on this one. So I'll show you how to do that. But uh, first I'll just go through a little bit of where I got them from and uh, how I started. I seen uh, Jenny Post. She has a um, marvelous selection of choices of snaps. Um, she has the stones. <laughs> Had to stop the video just for a minute because when my air keeps clicking on and I'm like, okay, do I want to make the choice of turning it off completely for 20 minutes or, or keep it on? So I'm going to keep it on. <laughs> anyway, uh, they have the stones that come in the 16s and then they fit into the 18 snaps. Okay. Then also you can get the little bit bigger ones, which are really nice for the big bracelets or even the pendants. Um, the 18 glass stones with the uh, 20 snaps. So, and they are interchangeable. These, these will fit into those. They're just a little bigger. That's all. Okay. I mean, what they, what I mean is they can fit into any part of your jewelry. Okay. Either one. So whatever you choose. Um, then also they have, she has the small ones too, which is adorable. I fell in love with them when she came out with them, the little minis. Okay. And so then they also can fit into anyone. Isn't that cute? I just love them. So, um, I'll just go through a little bit of what I have purchased from her and um, very, very reasonable prices. Okay, that's, <laughs> well, I made this bracelet, which I loved with metallic uh, leaf greens. It's, it was beautiful. I love this one. And I love this one too. <laughs> this were some beautiful, I think that's a little bit of cobalt blue in there, maybe. Not real sure. Isn't that beautiful. So I love these bracelets. And you have to excuse my arms because I have eczema. I'm sure you all know. And I itch a lot. If I don't keep my cream on them, they look terrible. They're pretty clearing up pretty good right now. Not too bad, but anyway, just excuse them, please. And, uh, I mean, I don't have model arms <laughs> or hands, but I love these, okay? I do wear these. And then you can get the little pendants of all sorts of styles. I made this one. I love these. This is, you can pick from so many different designs. And then you can also get the earrings. And that's what I like is the little small minis for my ears. Because I like the petite. I don't like real big in my ears. And I thought this set was really cute. Because it kind of looks like little leaves in a way, you know, or something with little branches hanging off of them. And so, yeah, interchangeable. That's what's so cool about them. And uh, let's see, we'll just go through a few of the pendants. There's the, the um, dragonfly, which I don't have snaps on them all because they're all in here. And uh, I interchange them a lot. So I keep them off when I'm not using them. Love this one. 
This is absolutely one of my favorites, the heart. And I put a pretty red, well, I think it was magenta. Not a whole lot of, uh, you know, design in this one, but it's pretty. I like it. And that stone I made. And then there is this one. Now I actually hung this off of one of my bracelets. I mean, one of my necklaces with uh, my survival thing on it. You know, like tiger. Because I like my survivor. I'm a survivor. I hung that together. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just get a couple of them. We'll look at here. Oh, all of these. These are some of my favorites right here. I love this one so much. Hey! <laughs> yeah, you just slick them in there, and that is it. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Then, uh, one of my favorites also is the key. Love that. Love, love, love. And then I have this pretty pendant. Beautiful. And they do not fall off. They do not. Then they even just have the little small ones. Or if you just want to hang it off of a chain, you know. Like this. I take my my own chains and put them on there. And then I have the elephant, which is adorable. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm addicted to these. So then what I'm doing now is I have this one here, which um, I got, and, and I think it's so pretty, you know. But what I need is a matching, something gold or brown, maybe, something in there. So that's what I'm doing today is finishing up one of them. Then they have these beautiful ones. Oh, and yes, of course, the turtle is the cutest. And when she sends them to you, she'll send them to you in a little sash like this. It's so very nice to have these also. Because when I do give some away as gifts, I put them back in there and give them away. So the little turtle is so cute. I love that one so much. Um... Let's see, I used to have this one on there, like the purple turtle back. Which <laughs> um, other ones? I've had these kind, and they're pretty. You could just pick what you want, whatever your style is. Wearing red for the day, make one of your red ones. Put one of your red ones on, so pretty self-explanatory then also just you know just because I was at Michael's and or Hobby Lobby and you can even buy other ones there that will fit into your little snaps okay you know so there you go ones that are already pre-designed um, and then this is one that I got from her. She had these for a while, the little squirrel. I loved it so much. And um, I don't know for sure she has all these pieces right now, okay? You know what I'm saying? You gotta go on her website and look. But uh, I love that one. Just about put that on anywhere. Put it on here too. Want to hang it with your favorite chain? Okay, so I think that. Oh yeah, I forgot to show these. These were the bracelets. I love, 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 because these are my style. I like the blacks, you know. 
And then I went ahead and I ordered a snap uh, watch. So you can even do that too. You know? I love this. This is my watch. And I actually made this one for my son. I dig that one. Anyway, so that, there's lots of things you can do. So, so yeah, we'll go through a few of them that I made. I love that one, that one right here. And then you can also order these little tab things to put your snaps in when you're done. And then she has bigger ones too. I kind of prefer these just to kind of put them in order. So like, you know, instead of having the big slate, then I have like all these little, I thought those were cool. Okay. I won't take them all out. I loved that one. So these are already matching for my bracelets too, interchangeable, you know, ring pours on that one. <laughs> Black and whites. <laughs> and we got some cells. I love the, these here. A few more cells up. More black and white. Oh, there it went. I love these two. And this was just a real pretty. I don't know if they're coming in clear or not, guys. I apologize. I like the metallics. You can actually see the shimmer in them. Oh, I loved these. Okay, so what I've been doing is, uh, yeah, about a month ago, I attached these. So I'll show you how to do them real quick. Real quick rundown, okay? And look at this one. This was a poured on skin I did. For that's for that bracelet. For this one too. I think it'll look good too. And it looked like an elephant. Ain't that funny? So we'll get started. And then oh, so you can use plain skins. Okay. I've just noticed that you want them to be a little bit thicker. Not real thin thin. Okay. Or my best way that I felt I liked was putting them on photo paper. Okay, it doesn't peel off. And then you can just cut this out. It's like I have a whole package of the photo paper that I put my skins on. Or you can take old canvases that you don't like. Or, you know, there was something wrong with it that you weren't real crazy about. And put one on there so okay we're at 13 minutes so we're definitely gonna be a little bit longer than I expected of course because <laughs> I could talk about stuff forever and so I'll look at it I usually use a pinto bean I really do because you can lose track of what what's so pretty like can you move it around find the spot that you think is beautiful hey that's cool so, I actually wanted to use something right over here, this little purpley swirly. You know what? I like that area. That's kind of neat. So, so I use the diamond glaze to attach it to whatever, my skin, my canvas, or my photo paper. Okay. So that took me a while. I had to get a needle and put it down in there. 
That's the diamond glaze. You can use E6000 too. It don't matter which one. You can use an E6000 to attach it to your picture or one or the other. But anyway, find the spot. I think I'm going to use this one instead because I've been wanting to use this. This is pretty right here. So I go along and look, find out where it's pretty. That's kind of dark. I want that gold in there. I like that spot right there. That's pretty cool too right there. But you can like lose track. So I use like um, a pinto bean too. Or just take something small, you know, find your spot, put it on there. That way you don't lose track. Because <laughs> I do. Put your E6000 or diamond glaze. And lay it down there. Oh, there went the hair. Just kind of do a little swirl and a press. And that's it. Wait 24 hours to cut it out. Okay. And then you have yourself a beautiful... That's going to be a pretty one. Okay, so that one's setting. Now this one has been setting for a good month or two. So I like this. So just take your scissors. And I'm using an old canvas, which is just fine. Just make sure that your painting is cured. I will recommend that. Okay. Smaller ones are a little harder to manage, but not impossible. I like these rounded scissors too. Okay, if I can get it off my finger now. <laughs> okay. Then what I do is I take my 220 sandpaper my stone and I round and I tilt it to the sideways you know and then I turn it back and forth like that kind of turn it another one good idea huh you can use the fingernail uh, file too if you want to and then just do that make sure that they're off real good that there's nothing hanging over the edges. Snip them off. Okay, there we go. And the same with this one. I will snip them first though. How, how long are we at now? It eh, don't matter. I love this one, it's pretty. Yeah, this I decided to do this one day and I'm like, yeah, baby. Instead of sitting there using a fingernail filer. Worked great. Like I said, then you just get your scissors and get whatever might be hanging hairs off. Okay. Then you're going to take your snap. Make sure you get the right size snap. Yep, that's the right size. So I got a lot of these I want to glue tonight. And that dried up. I need to get more of these too. <laughs> so this is going to be kind of hard, but I'll manage. Get it out. Put some on there. And then I put it in, and I usually just give it a little twist and push down. And there you go. That's it. You got yourself a new one. So that's it, guys. These are super cool, fun, and relaxing. Good therapy for me to sit and make what I like, you know pick my you can like I said you can use canvases you can use regular skins okay so I had to keep editing because I keep forgetting stuff 
So uh, with Jenny, she offers a wonderful discount, okay, to everybody. And when you go in and if you do decide to purchase anything that she has, you can use Sherry Snap and receive 30% off, okay, which is awesome, okay. And uh, it just, it brings that amount down big time for whatever you choose. Just because I like to promote Jenny because I love her um, business that she has and I love what she started and she put so much hard work into it. And um, she has such great ideas coming up new ones all the time. So that's, that's why I'm doing this. And uh, so go ahead and take advantage of that discount, okay? And I will put Jenny's uh, link in my description where you can go ahead and browse around, see what she's got right now available. Can't promise everything that's here. Like I said, you never know. I think she may even have some new stuff by now because I've been having one project after another for the past month. And... Uh, so I'll, I'll put all this information in my description for you. But that's it. So hopefully that wasn't too long. <laughs> and I think I did show quite a bit of what I have and what's available. And I wear these all the time because I like these. I like to wear something I made in my ears, you know. Ideas are endless. They really truly are. I just need to buy me some more of this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish these tonight because I'm not going to have enough of this. But yeah, I, I would suggest getting the small tubes just because I had one of the big ones. And since they're metal, they need to put them in plastic. They really do, the company. Because once you, they get twisted so many times, they burst little holes. See, like just that one there could have just burst a hole. And then you waste so much glue and they dry up. So I suggest getting the small tubes and use this little sandpaper to go around. You know, if you don't have the sandpaper, use fingernail filer. But um, that's it. I'm going to sit here tonight and finish gluing on some more on here. I'm going to do a couple of these. And then I also have some other canvases that I was not so happy with my outcome. And I'm going to do that. So that's it. Hey, if you guys have any questions, ask me. Because I've been, I was doing this for a long time. And having just the best of time with them and relaxing. And uh, also, you can ask Jenny too. Leave, leave a comment on her uh, Etsy page, okay? And um, I'll attach her YouTube channel also because she's just like blowing me away with all her paintings lately. It's like, wow. And then also she has Instagram and Facebook. I will put in there, okay? All right, you guys, take it easy. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.